Graham Ezzy with a nice little aerial from the previous heat, just getting a little practice in. Motoko Sato, her first wave. Okay, this is her entering the scoring realm here. One snap into it already with perfect wave positioning. That's, I think, her greatest attribute. From the get-go when I started watching her sail, wave positioning. W awareness. She's actually sailing right back where she was when she was winning. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She's sailing better than I've seen her sail in a really long time. Really sailing well. There's the former cane fields behind us. So it is a women's semi, correct? Um, one heat of women, two heat of men, we were told. Okay. You know what? I'll go find this out. This is not a final. Or is it? It is. It is. This is the final, man. Yeah. I'm calling it. Women's final. Epperstein. And Ruano Moreno Sato Faringa. And this is none other than Ruano Moreno batting it. Wow. The Hokipa invasion, you guys. The locals have been invaded by the out of towners. Not a single Hokipa local in this final. And it's a huge upset, really. Uh, it's 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 what it is. I do not consider it a surprise that either of these women, any of these women, are in the final. Erpenstein is in first. <laughs> and let me tell you something. Somebody who's been riding a little momentum is her. And this is just how it goes. We have Morano Moreno in first now on the screen, however. Erpenstein looks pretty much in second as far as my screen is showing. And there we have it. Erpenstein in third. This is how it rolls, you guys. We, we definitely watch these scores roll in and, and the rankings change. Ruana Moreno in relative command here with a 7.5. And that was her first wave that you saw. Yeah. Here goes Sato with a 3.5. Well-ridden wave, just not a really big wave. And here comes her second score. So she'll settle her tally here. Makes a corner, and she's going to make it all the way through the channel. She just recovered this wave really well. Not a high, big wave, but it's going to, it's going to bump her way up there for having two scores. As you can see, Matoko down in the water, no wind down there. She's just letting the current pull her back into the channel. Great view for the spectators on, on the hill. This is what people get to see every day when they drive by Hokipa. They want to stop and have a little picnic, sit up on top of the hill. You're literally sitting like stadium 50-yard line. Floor seats at the basketball game. No doubt about it. Yeah. Even on a regular sailing day, yeah. you know, with the full pack out, it's an amazing spectacle. I find myself watching every now and then, just in between sessions and catching a glimpse at the arena that this place is. It's it's phenomenal. It and really is. It, it's really one of the most unique spots on the planet. It breaks a hundred different ways. We've already seen all the different faces <laughs> it can show in the course of this first opening day here. And you're just looking at the position battles here. Erpenstein now relegated to fourth place with the four. Ofringa 5.12, Sato, 6.25. And, you know, the consummate competitor here, Ibaya Ruana Moreno, 7.5, finds herself with a little bit of that training at, uh, down at the point paying off in between those heats, obviously. Yes, it really Look has. at what that did. It's just instant adjustment. Super impressive to see and not surprised. Not surprised. And it's 12 minutes and change to go here. Lots to play for. Got Women's some. final on tap. Epperstein on a nice wave. Epperstein on a really nice wave, and she's in full control of the situation. She can position, position herself wherever she wants. 
And she's going to punch in her ticket right around midsection at the point with a critical section coming up a little too deep. And she's not going to care. I'm going to applaud that effort. For that was good. The graceful swan dive that that looked like, kind of. Toss the rig into a back loop off the lip. And you know what? She hit that thing, Rob, and just got disconnected. But right upon hitting, that was a massive effort from her. It really was. And I, I guarantee you she learned from it that she probably thinks I shouldn't have let go. I've probably gone down the line. I might have had a big maneuver. I guarantee she learned from that. As Sarakita sets up, she's going to backdoor to point wave. And she decides not to. She's going to tack out of it. Good move. Erpenstein with the angular. But look what the high line sets up. Okay, I'll go for that. And if she just didn't kick out the back foot yeah, yeah. as much. Yeah, exactly. If it just had stayed under her, she would have skied that whole section. Oh, she definitely would. You know what? She's showing me right now that if she sailed here like full time. Oh. I she see. would be like right there. She's already right there. But she'd be right there, right there. Ah. Oh, Sarah Kita. Oh, she's got slowly a crawling in to meet you. Oh, here we go. H Poco. Let's let it flow. Oh, nice off the top by Sarah Kita. I Sarah like it. I like it a lot. That second hit. Aggressive. Here's the Baya. It's actually a really strong heat. I didn't realize it, but it's. Okay, Matoko Sato kicking out. Just under 10 minutes, 9.30 left in this heat. Wind's turned really offshore as you can see that now Matoko's just getting into the wind line. Okay, we haven't had our scores updated yet, but it should be coming shortly. As you guys can see, the, the wind has kind of moved offshore a bit. Mm. Erpenstein is just nipping on Sato's heels, and she's really not that far from Ruana Moreno either. Uh, it, it's flipping around. You know, uh, Alfringa here, to me, the math says that she's actually uh, kind of... Uh, uh. Yeah, we got to let a few more scores drop here, Rob. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we're, 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 we're far from being able to call this right now. I'm going to stop looking at the scores. But, I mean, to me, the most to play for here, definitely a Fringa. You know, the world title equation is down to Ruana Moreno and a Fringa here. Erpenstein's definitely in the mix as well. Uh, you're, looking at, you're looking at that right now. Okay. Here's Sato. And let's just... Take in this moment here, Motoko Sato on such a nice wave. Definitely getting her bottom turned down. Moving past this translucent green-blue section. Beautiful turn. Ah, these are just postcard moments when they come together. Yeah, they are. And that will end her ride with 7.30 to go. Sarah Kito Afringa right now, I'm very intrigued. Uh, forget the scores. But between Ruana Moreno and Ofringa, there's a world title equation at stake here. Without knowing the exact numbers, I can tell you that with a fair amount of certainty. Can Sarah Kita 
fend off Ruana Moreno, or is it the other way around, really? <laughs> right now, Ruana Moreno is trying to fend off Sarakita in terms of this heat. But Afringa is trying to fend off Ruana Moreno in terms of the world title conversation. I think so. And I wouldn't be surprised if the difference between first and fourth is the difference between Ruana Moreno taking the top spot away from Sarakita. I'll just go ahead and say that's probably the case, too. However, the scores just updated, and now we'll talk about scores again, because Ofringa's in the lead ahead of Ruana Moreno by a whisker or so, 10.57 to 7.5. Erpenstein sits in fourth with a 6, and Sato has a 7.38. Clock winding down, 6 and change, wind winding down, Eight knots, maybe ten on a gust. It's getting less and less. 4.37 on a beautiful Hawaiian afternoon. Kai Kachadorian and Rob Funk bringing it to you live. We have a combined 100,000 years of experience at Hokipa. <laughs> we have lived through the dinosaur ages. We're still here, and we're still going to be here. I ain't going what nowhere. Is, what, side is, what, is, what does a dinosaur do when he... Yeah, anyway... <laughs> Listen, Mercedes-Benz, thank you so much for sponsoring this epic, historical, traditional event to the island of Maui, the Aloha Classic 2019. Thank you again, Mercedes-Benz, for sponsoring this, and we are very thankful to be here ourselves. As we make it through the final stage of day one, Rob, high five, dude. What a day. Man. Great opening day. Great opening day. Thank you for tuning in live, everybody far away and near. I'm sure there's people watching the live stream that live down in Kuau right now. <laughs> but, you know, that's great. I've heard, I've heard a lot of good feedback uh, uh, about the broadcast today. It's been a fantastic opening day for yes. competition here. We've got to see a lot of action, a lot of down moments. You know, it's a contest. It's, exactly. This it has now. everything you ask for. It has everything you ask for. The judges have done a great job. I salute Duncan Coombs for all the decisions he's made. A really, you know, tough call to postpone there. And obviously, no choice in the matter. And here we are. We've made it through what we feel is at least all the way through the women. We've got two more heats of men. Apparently, we will see what that decision is momentarily. Four minutes and change to go in this one. As you see, Ofringa in first place, Ruano Moreno in second place, Sato in third place, and Erpenstein, who has to just be thrilled to oh, be in this final. I guarantee she is. Thrilled. Like, They're all thrilled. The, th the three of those to her left have been in finals at Hukipa. This is a legacy moment for Lena Erpenstein. Super proud of you, Lena. Great job. Really awesome. Here we go. Big West set kind of rolling in low. And it's going to have it to itself. Is this Moreno? It's more. Uh, no, it's Erpenstein. Erpenstein. Oh, she could see. Wow. She found something here, but she's going to tack out because she's not far enough in, uh, wind enough for it. Now, Sato. Uh, now, Sato with a difference maker, good size wave here. These are the exchanges, man. You don't see them coming, but there is a West set that just snuck through the lineup. Sato's on it. Here she goes, Motoko Sato, one time Aloha Classic winner. Beautiful hit. Oh, beautiful hit. I full agree. contact, full effect. There is a corduroy stack of waves coming in after this. Here goes Ruana Moreno, busy as a bee. Beautiful bottom turn. A lot of surf style with her. She's doing a lot of surf in there. Beautiful bottom turn and cut back there. I like that. Here comes the money hit. Bam! And she makes it. Here comes Erpenstein. Excellent wave there. Quintessential bottom turn. Good memory for this Get campaign. And she, and a little uh, bit out the back. And unfortunately, she's not going to be able to harvest the rest of this epic set that comes in. But Sarah Kita will. Oh, Sarah's got a beautiful Here wave. Here comes Sarah Kita. Take it away, Rob. So Sarah, bottom turn mid not quite to the bottom, but a great turn. Perfect turn. Come up, and she's going to hit this aerial. Nice hit. She's going to come back through. 
unbelievably good way, that's going to probably seal it for her, in my opinion. But She's we'll got to feel good about it, even oh. though she pearls right at the end. Hukipa wins again. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to give it a score, though. On oh, that. the score is one thing. Yeah. But Hukipa will remind you who's in control. Yeah, exactly. We've all been humbled, thinking you just did sound good, and next thing you know, you're swimming. You know, more than that, too, Rob, uh, uh, you know, in a, in a heat where you can't find a wave, someone's looking, and you just, it happens. And, you know, it's all good. Okay, I don't... It's one minute and 24 seconds. You know, it'll be a water start contest at this point. Maybe enough wind to get out and get one more. That did seem to be the, the essence of that exchange. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to get another wave out of this heat. But these girls could tack on something, but they got to get up first. Under a minute left in this heat, this is going to probably be it. Yes, gang, I think we're going to be calling it a day here. I haven't heard anything. I'm not going to make any assumptions. I know Duncan steers a, a tight ship here, though, uh, looking at the course of the wind here. It's going to do one of two things, die completely or come back with one more burst. This is that first little bit of it dying. 4.45 oh, and 18 seconds left in this heat. Will someone make it out before the heat ends? Is there any point to this? <laughs> no. Lena Erpenstein has absorbed the lesson. She is heading in. These two are going to be left to deal with their ordeal in the channel and will be back in about 20 minutes. Oh, thump. Yes, that is the end of this heat. Here we go with the recap. And here we go. This is a great Just opening wave for Mato Matoko Sato. Good recap. Then you got Sarah Kita, the winner of this heat. She's having a great, great combination wave turns. Matoko again. Matoko putting on a really good show here, as all these women did. And you, you would be challenged to come up with these four women at the beginning of the day, that these would be the women in the final. But you know what? At the same time, it's not a surprise they're all equally talented. Here goes Ruana Moreno again. The recap and super edge work. We're going to talk to Duncan Coombs here really quickly uh, a little bit about some insight on the scoring and in that heat in particular. But we can, uh, we can take it from there. Thank you, Rob. All right, so. So, Kai. Great job today, Duncan. Cheers, yeah. Good show, Thank as you. usual. You held the course. Uh, a couple raw moments, we'll call them, you know, the, the cancellation being one of them. Yeah, it does Starting. happen. Squally conditions at Hukipa, a bit of rain, and you get no wind afterwards. Been yeah. here before. So, talking about the final, I mean, I think one thing to say is Ibaya did not hold back. No. If she'd have landed that aerial, she'd have got a 10, I think. It that was probably the most radical. It, it was big. And, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, uh, I, I, I've been actually pretty impressed with Erpenstein. Yeah, yeah. Who kind of trudged through here. Maybe the surprise contestant in the final. Exactly. I think the, the lower bracket in the women's was an easier draw uh, uh -huh. with the seeding, I okay. thought. And uh, But she sailed good. Congratulations to her for making it to the final. Absolutely. Uh, on Port Tack, she is way better. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she'll be stoked with her performance. But, I mean, Sarah Keita taking the win there. She Let's was solid all day. Solid all day. Solid all day. I, I found that Sarah Keita uh, has a newfound aggression off the top, Duncan. Yeah. She's, oh, she's got, got, got a great back. hack. Yeah, yeah, the hack is just Yeah, there. she puts the board on, on its rail. I mean, there wasn't really, for me, anything between Sarah Keita and Ibaya. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ibaya with her surfing knowledge, you know, she looks great on the wave. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I think uh, she would have smashed the final had she have landed that one aerial, but uh, she didn't. So oh, well, fair play. That's competition. That's how it goes. <laughs> now, uh, briefly to the men, uh, you know, the early rounds, they don't really quite tell the script. Uh, I've been obviously paying very close attention to a couple riders. 
uh, the Graham Ezzy, uh performance when you ride two waves in a heat. Well, there you go. That's wave selection. You know, they stayed out the back for a long, long time. There's waves coming through underneath them. Absolutely. Unridden. Yeah. You know, two to three foot waves unridden. Ricardo played a safe game. He took a few smaller waves and got scores yeah. on the board, you know, and got his second place. He's through, you know. Yeah, I hope, you guys had, I hope you guys had an easier time spotting Ricardo than I did on all the very varying gear that he was using. Yeah. All these different You guys did a better job than me. I yeah. botched that whole heat. I was calling Girardi and all that. Got a great style, though. Yeah, I mean, no, we're, you, we're good. you know, his cutbacks were, you know, really nice and yeah. stylish, really throwing the tail out. Uh, but Graham, you know, he packed a load of turns, didn't he, into a small space. Super impressive with that. Anyway, we're going to uh, watch the day recap of the whole day. Sit yep. here with me, Duncan, as we uh, give it a bit of a look. We can uh, look at the body of work that we uh, have here at the Mercedes-Benz 2019 Aloha Classic. Cyber's real work, Duncan. Yeah, I mean, Cyber going through. I don't know what Donnell's going to think now. I think he's uh, got a pretty tough heat there at the bottom of the draw in the men's second round. <laughs> Uh, All this stuff popping up, up on the and Brown in that last heat. Oh, yeah. And there's Kyle Lenny, of course, Kyle who put ripping. on an absolute Absolutely performance. Absolutely ripping. We're not going to talk enough about Kyle Lenny here. Yeah, he's so. looking solid enough to take the victory here, I believe. Whether he can put it together. Takara is Ishii thing. as well Takara has had Ishii. a great day. Yeah. I mean, I've seen this kid sailing in the IWT events, and uh, he rips. Yep, Stilrich having a good go. Everybody getting a little bit of play here. Yeah, so Stilrich from Pozo, you know, showing us that he can sail Starb Attack pretty well. Sure. I was quite impressed with him. Chapuis there, Miguel so Chapuis, another youngster there from our tour, PWA mm -hmm, tour, mm -hmm. showing potential. And Runes. we've got there, Runes. Well, yeah, I mean, he did some upsets in Silt last year, and uh, he's looking solid on starboard tack. A rootkin bashing away. Yeah, you know, that Levi was a with close heat with a rootkin. Yes, a it was. Super close heat. It was a nail-biter. Yeah. And uh, Martin with his Whoa. antics up and win. This is what we can do with wind surfing. <laughs> he's a crazy man. Looking good, though, Antoine yeah. Martin. Here's this silent, deadly threat. Angela Cochran working her way through those rounds. Yeah, she was close to the final. She's getting there. Sarakita, there there's that is. hack. There's the hack. And that wasn't the best one we've seen. No, in the it was day, not. Sure. Tatiana had a standout day. Yeah, I mean, well, she said she's pregnant, yeah? I didn't know that. Is she? I mean, I she's. I think she kidding. is. She's well, out there. <laughs> well, that youngin's had a good ride today. <laughs> <laughs> that youngin's had a great ride, yeah. <laughs> Here goes Lena Erpenstein, yeah, who also has a good nice hack to her own there. credit. And there he is, Antoine Martin, Antoine, crazy Tune. Frenchman from Guadeloupe. Oh, Look at that. That was a great turn. Yeah, aerial into a nice turn there. The velocity, you have to notice that as the judges. on that wave, wasn't he? But, uh, High speed, low drag. And the first wave oh, from Graham. Lovely. Rail work. Rail to rail. Yeah. Never yeah. off rail. No, he's packing a lot of turns it's in. crazy. I mean, you know, maybe not the best wave selection, but no. he didn't have much to choose from. And he I buy a... Yeah, go ahead. Is... Second wave, the Graham second wave. Oh, yes. The yeah. first hack he did was probably that was big time. I agree. Buckets of water. You know, there, the, the women have been taking note. You yeah, the last, these last turns from Ibaya. The last wave there from Ibaya. Yeah, just stuff. showing her surfy style. Yeah, really great nice. stuff. Duncan, thanks a lot. Hey, we look nice forward to it. It's tomorrow, just getting yeah. started here at the 2019 Mercedes Benz Aloha Classic. That's it. The waves are rolling in. Pray for wind, you guys. Thanks for staying with us here. Okay. Stay tuned for the awards presentation for the women. Single elimination. Single elimination. Yeah, there's coming more to right come. up. More to come from the women. All right, here sure. we go. Stay tuned, you guys. Aloha. Thank you. Bye -bye.